Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so in this lesson, uh, in this video, I'm going to, or I'd like to look at two different approaches to reusing existing uh, content within your project to help speed up production a little bit. Okay, so what we are going to talk about is uh, match type and we also, we and we also got the create similar okay i know this video is already known to the experts to the advanced users but i'm talking about with those uh users that is just starting to use revit so this is for beginner okay so you know uh often you're looking at you know your design and you're thinking uh all right so i need to create this another chair for example this another door or let me just create the same type of this wall. So now certainly you can you could copy or you could monitor elements to create uh, another chair or door, for example. But you can also use this tool that is called Create Similar. Okay. So let me just open a new or a sample project. Okay. Swaps away. We don't want it. In the morning begin. My laptop is kind of slow. That's also the reason why I'm not uh, doing some more videos because uh, my laptop keeps on hanging. So, apology for that. Alright, okay. So, let me just open, let's say, the level one here. Okay. So let's say, for example, this is the object that I want to copy. This is actually a furniture, okay? So certainly you can select this and then you can copy, right? And you can also mirror, okay? But another way to uh, create an object, same category, same type, okay? You can use create similar. So you use the create similar tool to place an element of the same type as the selected element okay so for example if I'm going to select this element okay so from the modify furniture tab you can see here this create similar the shortcut is uh, CS okay so the shortcut is CS right of course another way is you can select the object and then you can right click and then from there you can select create similar it's that simple okay so when you use create similar each new element inherits family instance parameters defined in the family editor for the selected element okay so the elements created with create similar do not inherit values of instance parameters Okay, you know the instance parameters, right? Instance parameter is when you select the object, you see the properties here. These are actually our instance parameters. So if you're going to select the edit type, this is what we call type proper, uh, type properties. Okay, so instance properties is different with is different with type properties, right? Okay, let me just cancel this one. Okay. All right, so just remember, uh, elements created with create similar tool do not inherit values of instance parameters that were not defined in the family editor. Let's say, for example, the comment, okay? Anyway, to create a similar element, so you just need to select the object, and then after that, it's either you select this object, you can type, uh, you can select this icon, you can type CS, or you can right click, you can select create similar. So let me just select this one, click that one. Let's just wait for a while. Okay, there you go. So you will now be able to place whatever you like this furniture. So let's say I would like to place it here. You can also press space bar to rotate the object. Space bar, space bar, okay. So I can place it here. Okay, create similar. There you go. Okay, so let me try again. So let's say I want to 
you can actually do this also in 3D view. Let's try that in 3D view. So I select the 3D. Alright, first love never dies. Okay, so let me select this window. So let me, let's say I want to create same uh, window. I want to place it somewhere here. So I click this one, right click, create similar. There you go. Okay, so it will copy the category. You just need to place it here. All right. Okay. <coughs> right, so that's how you use the create similar tool. Now, another uh, useful tool that we can use, okay, that we can use to reuse content or existing content within our project to speed up our production is what we call match type tool. Okay, so let me just go back again to my level one. Okay, match type. Okay, let me just see this one. So, match type. So, you use the match type tool to convert one or more elements to match the type assigned to another element. Okay, how's that? So, let's say this is a uh, category, right? Uh, this is our furniture. Category is furniture. So, if I click this drop down arrow. So, let us see if we have options here. So, let me say uh, this is a uh, dining chair. Okay. Okay, that's a dining chair. So I can uh, press the space bar to rotate. Okay, so this is a dining chair. Okay. So the source element and the target elements must belong to the same general category. So the category, you can find it here. Okay, so that's the category. This is the type. This is the category. Okay, so for example, you can select a generic wall and then select another wall of any type and convert them all to generic wall. Or same with this one, we, we do have here two different furniture. <coughs> okay, so we have different type. Now, so if I'm gonna, if I want this object or if I want this uh, furniture to be like this one, this is our source. So what I can do is, I can go to modify, and then I can select this tool. From the clipboard panel, you can see here the match type properties. Or you can also type MA. The same shortcut in AutoCAD, if you're using AutoCAD, so you can type MA. So I select this one. Select that. Okay, as you can see your pointer. Uh, beside your pointer, there's a paintbrush. So if I click this one, this is my source. You will notice my your paintbrush will become filled, and then you can now click this one. Sadder than sad, you're the only light the center room has ever had. See, as long as the uh, the two objects belongs to the same general category, you'll be able to use the match property. Okay, so let's say I go to the 3D view. Okay, let me just place another window here. So I go to architecture. I go to window. Let me change this one. Uh, what's this one? Oh, this is... Okay, so this is for the roof. How about door? Okay, let me just... Just for the sake of this example, so I insert one door here. Uh, okay, another door here. Okay. So let's try that. So they belong to the same uh, category, which is what? Door. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select Modify tab. Uh, match type properties. And this one. Okay. So let's say, oh, I want this type to be like this so this is my source so i'm gonna go ahead and select this one and then paint it to this store there you go okay right so basically that's how you reuse existing 
uh, elements in your project. Okay? So you can easily use this to match other elements. So whether it's create similar or match type properties, they perform very similar functions, but they do it in a slightly different way. So where on the other hand, with create similar, you're creating a new object with the properties of the one you selected. And with match property, you've got two existing objects already, and you're making one of them the same as the other. Okay, so basically that's how it is. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And please do not ask me to create a model for you, okay? Because there are some of my subscribers that is asking, hey, could you please create me this one? Could you please create me this one? You know, I don't have any much time or or a uh, free time for me to be able to create something for you okay so just please bear with me okay i have only a limited time okay all right so again thank you for watching guys have a nice day